another episode of Let's E. You know what your girl and for Jelly. Okay, so today I'm gonna be making some breakfast. Y'all, my niece is here visiting me from Georgia. I have a couple of my nieces and nephews here to spend the weekend with me. So I'm making them brunch. I'm tired because I had my two baby nieces. My goddaughter. Um, Miracle and my my niece Madison. So how to deal with that? No. So it's been a long weekend. I know some of y'all be like Tasha. Well, Empress Jody. That's my Tasha's my nickname. But Empress Jody, you said you was gonna be cooking this and cooking that and cooking this and four times and three times a week. What happened? I bought some space on my damn phone to try to get some space um, free up for my phone because I do video on my husband's phone because his thing is bigger i need to get a bigger phone because i have 16 gig so it's not that i don't want to keep to my promise is that i just need the to, i'm gonna get myself together y'all and i'm gonna buy a, a phone or a camera so when i do that y'all are gonna get so much content it's not even gonna be funny so until then bear with me how y'all doing with the the new year's resolution what's going on are you eating better is your you know how's your weight loss how's your progress with any goal that you had set from the last video how's it going let me know okay so i want to i want to um tell y'all what's on the menu today so today i am cooking i'm sorry y'all see my eyes wandering is because i have little ones with me so give me one second daughter and she wants to do her own thing she she took my phone hostage so anyways y'all like i said i have a one year old um she's running around and stuff so that's why well come here i decided to make a video today because one of my friends one of my new haven family members bev shout out to you and the little empresses um you know, shout out my channel, and there's, she's just like, oh, you know, we love your channel, but you know, we're very much ITAL, and we would love for you to cook more ITAL things, um, and whatever, so I'm like, huh. you know, she's right, I do want to, you know, cook more ITAL things, which I will be able to, because now I have veggie chunks, and if you don't know what veggie chunks is, this is veggie chunks, I have more of it, not just this, it's just I have little compartments of it, but this is veggie chunks, I made it yesterday, I just didn't do a video, but I can show y'all what I mean. So, you see it? That's brown stew veggie chunks. So, I made that yesterday. That's a time that's sticking out. Yeah, so that's what I mean. So, today I will be making fried dumpling because I saw that she wanted fried dumpling. Okay, but the only thing with this fried dumpling is I did I don't have spelt flour or rye flour. My grocery store does not spell, sell spelt flour. I don't like rye flour with fried dumpling. To me, it does not taste well. But you are able to do that for your substitution for a healthier flour. You can use spelt flour, rye flour. If you have oatmeal, you can blend up oatmeal. If you have quinoa. Listen, anything that's a hard substance is easy to blend up. You don't have to buy the flour, but you have quinoa or you can buy quinoa flour. There's so there's so many alternatives that's um healthier. You can use grapeseed oil or sesame seed oil. If you are doing it for the Dr. Sebi approval, he approves for grapeseed and sesame seed. If y'all hear noise from the background, it's because the kids are playing video games. So there you go. So I'm making some fried dumpling. This is regular all-purpose flour, coconut cream powder, baking soda, a little bit of brown sugar, and salt. That's it. And I just mix it up. I just mix it. Yay, you can kneel it with your hands. I don't want to get my hands messy. But I just mix it up. And... You can honestly do it from the night before or do it an hour before you're about to cook and let your dough rise and get it how you want to. This is what I'm frying it in. So I'm going to soon fill my, my pot with oil. I'm using vegetable oil. So I'm using vegetable oil. And um, I'm also going to be making some banana porridge. 
I tell so some banana porridge. So for my banana porridge, I have the bananas. Not a lot. I'm making a little bit. Coconut milk. I'm making Jamaican pride. And I'm gonna sweeten it with some laska. That will be my alternative. This is this is um, almond powder. If you don't like the almond powder, you can all um, use almond milk, sesame seed milk, um, cashew milk, whatever like nut milk you like you can use that alternative i'm gonna also be putting brown sugar in mine if you do not like brown sugar you can use date sugar um you know whatever what's your favorite sweetener you can use it um you know and also you're gonna need cinnamon nutmeg and when you're boiling your porridge, every Jamaica knows. They call it allspice or pimento seed. Okay? It's great. So, fried dumpling and some tin mackerel. Okay. So, like I said, this is the stuff to make my porridge. So, Turn my stove on, on high, put the oil I need. I know it's a lot of oil, but I'm gonna be using this oil to do everything. Fry my dumpling, put a little bit of oil in a little pot to do my mackerel, and whatever dinner that's cooking tonight, that's what the oil's gonna use for. You gotta learn how to recycle everything, cause honey. I don't like cooking with a lot of oil. This is where I'm going to put my fried dumpling in so that it can drain. The oil can drain. So, I'll put this right here for now. I have some little peppers that was bought, cut up already. I'm going to dice them with some onion, thyme, scallion, and pepper. And, you know, I'll show y'all. So, I'm waiting for my pot to get hot. I'm going to turn my stove on to let that boil. While that is... While that is getting ready to boil, I'm gonna put a few pimento seeds in the water. If you do have, I don't think I have any more. No, I do. I do. I do. I put one. Well, there's only one left. That right there, cinnamon stick. So, remember, everything, this is all vegan per se. Yeah, it's all vegan. I'm not using no animal product whatsoever to make none of these stuff. So, all vegan. Like I said, y'all, if y'all hear the, mute, the noise in the background, it's my nieces and them playing video, my niece and my nephews them playing video games. So, I do apologize, but I really wanted to make this video. Shout out to you, Bev. You know, I'm really trying to make this I tell journey a little bit better. And woke up. It's amazing how people can motivate you, you know, just by saying little things and... I know I haven't put out a video and it's been just bumming me out because I love, I love doing this. I love doing my videos. So, come in a little close, I'm going to show you. So, I am breaking apart my bananas a little bit. Now, it's not, it's because there's just only a little bit of bananas. I'm going to add a little cornmeal to it. Normally, I don't add a cornmeal to it because the bananas will thicken up on its own. You don't have to. It just honestly depends. I mean, I, I can just put less water, but I know I want the porridge to share with everybody. So, so y'all, here's a fun thing that you can use. It seems like a fun one. Here's a fun thing that you can use. I'm going to blend my bananas with coconut milk. I want that creamy flavor so that's why i'm going to blend it with it so i'm going to use all the coconut milk all of it i want that creamy 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 flavor so all that coconut milk i'm going to blend it so Y'all 
y'all see that? So, before I pour this in here, I'm going to use my spoon. I'm going to take, because I know that this is going to be, and I want my porridge to be thick. So, I'm going to take, cold my bottom of my pan with some coconut milk. I'm going to run some hot water a little bit. See this? And I'm going to stir it. Because I want to use a little bit of coconut milk. Now, the reason why you put a little bit of water while you... Because coconut is, is... I mean, coconut. <laughs> Cornmeal is so easy to thicken up. So, that's one thing. And then, while I'm stirring, I'm going to continue stirring. So, if you love the coconut flavor, you do this... You know, you're you're still welcome to put other milks in it. Not milk, like you know, your sesame seed, almond, whatever. Remember you have to pick to please your taste buds. So Now, the, when you're making porridge, even though you start out with your pot on high to make the water boil, you want to bring it to a medium low, and you want to keep stirring. And the only reason why you want to keep doing that is because if not, your porridge will become thick and lumpy, and you don't want that. So while my oil is heating, I have it on medium, and, and I'm going to keep it on medium for a little bit because... When I put my dumplings in, I don't want them to just start burning at the, the sight of something going into the pot. You know what I mean? I want it to go in nice. So it, it, you see how it looks a little bit watery? I can see I'm stirring it. And it, it's getting a little thicker. I see? It's getting a little thicker. Y'all see it? Y'all see it. <laughs> Shout out to Country Cooking. <laughs> so you know my mind, girl. Y'all see it. <laughs> but this, you see how thickening is getting so thick. So I'm gonna tip the stove on low. And it's gonna be so creamy and so delicious. And I know Sally is gonna love it. Hello now. My little New Haven babies and Zay. I know they will love it, Bev. So you know, when you make this this porridge for them, you can, you're welcome to use um, coconut milk, almond milk, you know, and have the soap on low. Y'all see how thick it's it's getting. While it's, it's going like that, I would put a little bit of salt in it. A little salt in it. Now, I usually use sea salt, pink salt. I don't have any more of that, so I'm using regular salt. So, like I said, you use your variation. I would usually use that, but, you know, I'm using what I got. So, you use your variation. And you keep stirring. You don't have to sit here and be idly stirring all the time, you know. But you want to stir and make sure it's thick enough. So what I'm doing now, y'all, is I'm adding while I'm stirring, I'm adding a little bit of water. Y'all see that? Say hi. Say hi. 
You see a door, y'all? Okay, y'all. My dough is so sticky. Sticky, 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 sticky. But it's still doing the same thing. I have my, my stove on low. I use a little bit too much water, but it don't matter. It's still on the same place. You don't, it doesn't have to be that thing. It's coming out more like fritters, but don't worry. It's still going to fry like a dumpling. And it's still going to be delicious because there's a whole bunch of coconut in it. So as long as you have to control the heat of your stove. You see my stove? It's on low. It's on low because I'm trying to avoid my middle not being cooked. You see how the first dumpling go in and the bottom is already cooked already? That's what I'm trying to avoid. out there when you are sitting here trying to cook and you have a toddler and a teenager and two preteens and everybody wants your attention and you're trying to sit here and cook a meal and it's so difficult i'm not yet a mother but trust me from my experience this weekend imagine if this is just a weekend i feel you Oh God, I feel you. And I've always respect, have the most utmost respect for women. So, shout out to y'all. You know, shout out to y'all. It's not easy. But and shout out to the single mothers. Y'all go listen to Pompa Tate's new song. Single mothers like me, Sylvia. I'm not I'm a single mom, but that's the song. It's a, it's a beautiful song. It's, a, it's one of the most powerful songs I have ever heard. I'm not going to lie to you. One of the most powerful songs and it is so amazing and shout out to because you know a, a woman knows you who feels it know it that's what i'm always said so shout out to her for that powerful song this is so y'all i'm gonna take a little break so while this is doing its thing probably just doing its thing literally all i'm about to do is take the whole thing of lasco maybe i should just show y'all because you know i'm always taking a break and telling y'all what i'm doing and then some of y'all ask and say, Empress Jordy, can you just show us before you take the break on what we're doing? So, what you're doing. Because, you know. So, I know some of y'all follow me to the T. So, this is the almond powder. I have a little bit of almond powder in here. My goal is to put as much almond powder in it. So, I use it to make for my knees. She does not like regular milk, so I have almond milk for her. And, um, Lasco. She likes Lasco. So, water. The Jamaican. Remember when you used to drink tea? Lasco tea. One of the best things growing up. So, this is all I'm doing. See the last go, and then just to show y'all, like mm -hmm. cinnamon. You don't have to put this in the last but the last is going into the porridge. I mean, you can just put it directly into the porridge. So, oh, deal, smear. I feel y'all. I feel y'all. See, y'all see how I have the stove on low? It is so important, especially when you have um. When you're cooking fried dumpling and then you put, over put the water, it is so important that you have the thing because you want to make sure that everything is cooked in the middle. I hate a gooey middle dumpling. I want my dumpling to taste nice. You know what I mean? You understand me, type of bit? Nice. No, 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 I'm pouring this in now, so y'all see while I'm pouring it in. See that flavor, that color? So 
y'all. I'm sweetening this and I'm gonna attend to Miracle to make sure that she's okay. And fry up the rest of these dumplings. And then I'll be back to show y'all how I the last thing that's going in the go in this is my is the sugar. And that's if I taste this and it's not up to the flavor that I want it to be. But See? I tell it's my tongue. So Bev, shout out to you. You inspired this breakfast and all oh, the craziness. I see you always talking about it. it's so hard to balance so much. You have young little ones and you're trying to cook. You're trying to do so much. You're trying to take care of yourself. <sighs> so I'm going to make sure I attend to her right now. I'm going to sweeten my porridge with my sugar. And then I'm going to come back when I'm preparing my mackerel. But, I mean, there's nothing else to do but just fry the rest of these dumplings. So, I'll be right back, y'all. Keep rocking with me and my craziness. Yeah. <laughs> hey, y'all. Okay, so we're back. Oh, my gosh. My at, my tired, my not like tuna. Big up all of the single mothers out there. Big up all the mothers out there. You know, it is a lot to sit here and cook breakfast and attend to children. I'm excited for one day when I become a mother, but not rush. <laughs> Anyways, so right now I'm gonna be cooking up the tin mackerel. So simple as it is, in the pot. Woo! I'm gonna try to grow up when you grow up, and you see that going on the start though. Right now, me cook that. You know, only thing you can't hear in my ears right now. Jody, turn on the fire. I'm saying that right now as my mother's right there looking at me. <laughs> I put pepper sauce tonight. There's a little piece of pepper. Anyways, y'all. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Yo. The only person that would drive me up the wall is my mother. I promise you. <laughs> Yo, I'm not trying to ever cooking at the kitchen or no matter. Like I'm talking to my Caribbean people. Well, everybody, cause it's not even a Caribbean thing. It's just I can relate more, cause I am Jamaican. But you see, anytime me I'm cooking at the kitchen, no matter, I have this thing about me that I have to like stare at her while I'm doing what I'm doing because I know she's criticizing me and it annoys me. At the same time, you know. Anyways, the tin mackerel. Call it run down, mommy. I say run down that, but rest than a run down, not run up. Run run up. up. Okay, shall learn. <laughs> yeah, I hear my husband. <laughs> rest the only surrender to the sound system. Positive vibration, it ring. Shout out as a lineage and the lineage crew. Y'all make sure y'all go check out sound system on all digital platforms. You know, the crazy thing about it, when I heard that, when she first performed that song and I heard that, I fell in love with it. And I couldn't believe, like, you know how long she's been performing that song, now it's out and all over the place. So, now I can be like, Ray, I'm not going to listen to my favorite song. <laughs> that one, and I can't wait till the other one come out, the one that she sang at um our wedding. So, make sure not to check that out. Positive vibration it bring Nah, surrender to no system Must be a Musical vibe with a bring <laughs> So anyways y'all, I'm gonna make this cook out Cook out, cover it It doesn't need, you don't need to cook mackerel long I didn't put no tomato in it because cook is in tomato sauce You don't bring sana beach So I'm gonna make it cook out and then I'm going to bring y'all back when I'm serving. 
Anyways, so I don't know the thing said. I know it's a lot of craziness, a lot of thing going on. So back again. Shout out to Beth all the way in England. Don't know. I love you, hun. Love the little empresses, and you inspired me to cook this meal today. I know you're very much. I told you don't really fool around with fish like that, but you know you can always do something alternative. If you don't want to do this way, you can do veggie chunks or whatever vegetables and cook it down in some coconut cream. You know the thing set the ital porridge. The fried dumpling. You don't know, so I will be right back and set the plate, and then we're just gonna chef it up. Okay, so I made my mackerel cook down a, you know. Here's my fried dumpling. On the seeds, three. My fried dumpling. And um, the ital porridge. She don't wanna say nothing, but look, I wanna follow my sister, y'all. Say hi. Say hi. <laughs> Y'all, tell them, tell them the name of your channel. Um, it's Terry Love. I'm she, sorry, I only have one video. I'm coming. I'm coming. She does makeup, a lot of other stuff. So, go ahead, meet yourself back again. She does makeup and all that kind of stuff. So, make sure y'all go ahead. It's Terry Love. I will write it in the description. And I will write in detail how I made my dumpling, like the ingredients, because I know y'all are going to ask for it. And y'all saw how I made the macro, so now y'all know what the time it is. I'm about to sample my food. Macro. Mm. Mm. I'm going to ask, I'm going to put back if I stop. Let me see. Mm. You don't need that. Mm. It's so good. Only thing I will add to it more is pepper, but I can't because I have kids I'm cooking for. But once I share our dead food, I'm gonna put a little bit more pepper sauce in it for us adults because the kids can't handle it. But this is so good. Yo, my fried dumpling. You can't drop my fried dumpling. Y'all didn't know I'm about to tear this food up. Thumbs up, like, and share this video. Love y'all. See y'all later.